Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome on an incredible duo. You've heard the song. Everybody's heard the song, I'm Too Sexy, and everybody knows that I am too sexy, but so are these young, handsome men. Richard, Fred, Fairbrass, welcome, the one, the only, right, said Fred, but so it's not named after right. Fred. It's named after the movie, is that correct? It, no. It's after, named after me, but also a song. A song. Song, you okay. Know. I know, but, but yeah. Richard, why does Fred get all the clout? Why didn't I write said Richard? That kind of sounds cool. Well, you need to remember I'm the one the light shines on. Right said Dick. That is true. Okay. You need, you and, need to remember that. Yes, and you guys are incredibly talented. When you look at the artists that you've worked with, Mick Jagger, I mean, some of the biggest artists ever. So to give us the industry. Who is the, the artist you worked with that you're the most, you know, whoa, wow, this is a big deal. More, most starstruck. Um... Uh, Bob Dylan. Yeah, Fred did a movie with Bob Dylan and yeah. played with Bob Dylan. So that's yeah. that was probably. Well, I did actually play with him, but not play with him, but play. He <laughs> played that, the that, guitar. That, that he, he played the guitar. Yes. Yeah. Play with him. Okay. Uh, I mean, we we want to get into the nitty gritty of that. But tell me this: What was the inspiration? I know I'm sure you get this all the time, but 1991. Mm. I mean, this is a good day. I was a young man. The Dallas Cowboys were actually good at football. I know you guys aren't Cowboys fans, but I go back to 1991, guys. Don't you wish we could get in a time machine and go back? We didn't know how good things were. When they were good. Uh, well, that's true. Some of it was really good. Some of it was really it good. Was, we yeah. lived, in, yeah, we lived in New York. Uh, this is before the band happened. We lived in New York in eighty. When was it? Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven, and it was great. I gotta say, New York was really, really great then. And we were, we were there just before the lockdown. Uh, the last time we were there, yes, and uh, and it was still, and it was still great. And it's, it's a shame what's, what's been going on over there. Yeah. And it's the same here. It's, yeah. it's been, you know, these. Uh, it's back in the day when people sold records. It sold records, <laughs> yeah. and uh, when you did when you didn't have to drive at snail's pace to please the uh, climate change fanatics. Yeah. No, especially in the UK. I was just there not that long ago, and our friend Jen, who connected us, uh, no, it was insane. And just the taxes to drive into London. I mean, it costs like 25 oh. bucks just to drive your car in the city. No, no, it's insane. But sure. the reason why we guys have connected is because you guys have been vocal speaking out against the status quo, a lot of the stuff of the pandemic, a lot of the you know sexualization of children. So kind of what woke you guys up? Because I mean, you're in the you're in the entertainment industry. I mean, you're a musician. Don't you have to follow the status quo more than anybody? Well, uh, we're we're, in the, we're, uh, we're independent artists, and we've been independent for a very long time. So, and we made that choice <laughs> quite uh, deliberately in the, in the mid, sort of early to mid '90s. We just went independent, and uh, yeah. we like being. Um, although we're, we're probably financially poorer for it, but we like the um, the, this, the spiritual independence, and uh, we can say what we like, do what work where we want. Mm. And we like that. And we're not very good at being told what to do. No, we don't take kindly to that. No. And no. the minute somebody starts telling us, particularly when we're paying them <laughs> <laughs> as taxpayers, <laughs> and then these swine come back and start telling me how to behave, I have a problem yeah, with that. Not mad about that. No. I agree with you a thousand percent on that. Okay, a little bit about the, the we've had a few, uh, you know, platinum plaque, you know, country artists, musicians on, and a lot of times we had John Rich and we talked about Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy, that's like a legendary song. There's always a story of these hit songs, they get written in 45 minutes and they threw it together. Tell us, what happened with I'm Too Sexy? Was this one of those two? Was this just thrown against the wall and then it became a mega hit that's still being remixed today? Um, it, no, it took about, it took about, from the initial idea, it took about six months because we had the, um, didn't have any money. we didn't have any money. Um, and, uh, I'm Too Sexy was originally a bass line. It was originally a bass line for another song. So the bass line was da, 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 da. And then it was really hot and I just took my shirt off and started singing I'm Too Sexy to that line. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, that's exactly true. That's exactly true. And then, um, <laughs> we sort of, we thought that was quite funny, but then we decided we didn't know how to make sense of it. And Fred was actually going out with a model at the time, an American model, and oh, um, and then he, yeah, so he, he put that together. And we did the, then we did the model bit, and um, and then we did the, the instrumental section, and da, 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 you know, it, it, it came together. In original, the original thing was about seven minutes long. We had the most appalling minor key playout. <laughs> it was it was really cool, man, um, but it was absolutely so uncommercial. So that was all hacked off, and um, and it went to radio in the UK w without us having a record deal. It went just went mad. Yeah, we yeah. weren't signed when it was a hit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and you guys have sold millions and millions of records. But tell me this, you know, I'm big into conspiracy theorists. Uh, I'm a big conspiracy theorist. Big tinfoil hat. 
big tinfoil cowboy hat wearing conspiracy theorists. And there's a thing called the Tavistock Institute where they actually tested this on British soldiers and American soldiers where they would give them like LSD or they'd give them drugs. And oftentimes they would put, they would play music and see what melodies are the most harmonious, you know, what are, basically what our ears are attracted to. And that's what they say a lot of these industry people like Taylor Swift, that they're using some sort of almost Tavistock formulaic right. formula to create music. So is that a way to create successful music with some sort of formula, you think? Is that possible? I've got absolutely no idea. I, I would think there are tones that are, are addictive. I yeah. think that, that's, that's probably... I would think it was pretty standard, but I, I don't know. I don't know what they were. If I knew what they were, I'd use them. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> also, I think you know, if the trouble is with that, if you go, you get down that sort of Yuval Harari route, yeah, where you mathematize and reduce everything to numbers and yeah. machinery, and uh, it takes out the human spirit and soul. So, yeah. I don't have much time for that way of songwriting, I'm afraid. No. Well, you know, you guys are brilliant artists, but my producer, you guys are probably looking at this crazy guy, and obviously you guys are English. Uncle Sam, isn't it? Yes, Uncle yeah, Sam. Sam. This is yeah. the autistic yeah. version, and he's uh, he's something of a musician himself. I'm a musician. Yeah, yeah. Tell them how much you like their work. No, I, I'm such a big fan of y'all. Like, I've been bumping you since, basically I was a fetus, because that song originally came out before I was born. <laughs> yeah, so he's a young man, so... Oh. Yes, but he so wanted to come here. Right there, isn't it? <laughs> yes. The rocking fetus. The rocking fetus. Yeah, yeah I was bumping it. The rocking fetus. That's his new nickname. Wow, oh, yeah. Richard, guys. That, did Richard or Fred say that one? I'm stealing that one. You are the rocking fetus. But before we let you guys go, I, he wanted to do a little rendition of your classic song. So, uh, good man. So, Jimmy, please don't embarrass me too. Okay, much. okay. Yeah, I know you want to play this. Okay. So, so, you know, I know y'all are British, but I wanted to do yeah. an American version of I'm Too Sexy. So let me. Oh, oh, shit. oh that sounds bad. Oh, this is really out of tune. Here, I'll fix it. Let me, let me fix it. Okay, okay. Fix it. He's gonna. Oh, no. Shoot! Oh. Uh, that's it, yeah. Yeah. Here you go, Jimmy. Play your song. Like Here you go. Um, fix that. Yeah. You know, it. it it still looks pretty out of tune. Now play your song, Jimmy. Play it for him. Um, play it for him. Okay. Well. Um, yeah. I guess there's more percussion now. Yeah. Sing the song, Jimmy. I'm too sexy for my shirt. This really hurts. Oh, this brings me to tears, cause I've had this guitar for years. What the hell, Alex? Ah! All right, Jimmy, get off. Let me finish the interview, Jimmy. Yeah, he's really sad about that. It's not a very expensive guitar. It was cheap. Uh, uh, so, guys. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. I, I apologize that I put you through that. As an artist, was it hard to watch that guitar get smashed? On the slightest. <laughs> no, because we knew it was cheap when we saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me tell you something. Jimmy is cheap, but sometimes cheap is good. What do you guys? You guys are talking about money a little bit, but you guys have had money and wealth. Does that really make you happy? Because I know a lot of people that are considered rich, and they're the most depressed people. So, what do you guys think makes a person happy as a mega <laughs> million, uh, you know, selling all artist? What makes people happy? Certainly not money or fame. No, no. it's um. I mean, it sounds really corny. Friends, family. Yep. Um, good, a good wine for me. Makes oh, a good TV a night, show. Yeah. Uh, nice night out with my wife. A walk. A good walk. Good walk. Loads of simple things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You can find you can find happiness in all sorts of simple places. Yeah. Okay, and then now I'm going to ask you guys some tough questions before we go. So listen, here in America, we have this guy, Jeffrey Epstein, the biggest pedophile in the world. He's best friends right. with yep. Prince Andrew, but a lot of people don't talk mm. about Jimmy Savile, and I know you guys have been artists for a long time. Did you guys ever have any interactions with Jimmy? We, we, did. Were, we were on his show. Yeah, we were on his show. Yeah, Pop of the Pops? Which it. one? No, 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 no. It was called Jim Will Fix It, and the show was you write into Jim, Jimmy uh, Savile, and he That's would Mr. fix Mr. Savile to you. Yeah, Mr. Savile. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, he would, and he would fix things. So I can't remember, some young girl wrote in, and she wanted to go to a gym with us. So they manufactured this crappy gym in the TV in the TV studio. So we met him. We shook his hand briefly, and I don't remember anything about him. No, um, no absolutely nothing at all. Well, I don't even know. We shook his hand. Actually, we were, on the, we were in the studio with him. Uh, maybe we should have said. I, can't I think we were about twenty-five years too old. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're about right. But it's kind of weird, though. You look back, and now it was a bit where like a young kid wanted to, you know, meet you guys. That's a lot of what he did. Is he was with these young kids that wanted to. You know, he was supposedly a porter at the Royal Children's Hospital and would do satanic ritualistic yeah, yeah, yeah. abuse yeah, he, with children. Some deeply messed up stuff. He was yeah, aided, I, aided and abetted by certain politicians. Yeah. He was given yeah. the key, I think, to Broadmoor Prison, which was uh, yes, a think. high security prison, yeah. and he was yeah. actually given the key. Um, yeah. And I think at the time, 
People didn't realise how big a star people like him. And he wasn't the only one. Brit uh, British DJs back then were as famous as the musicians they introduced. Yeah, Top of the Pops. Top of the Pops. One. They were all huge stars. And mm. uh, the girls, you know, would, would pretty much do anything. Uh, or some girls would pretty much do anything to be in their company, you know? That's true. Wow, and then Jimmy probably wanted the little boys too. Okay, last tough question. So, so me, I'm a nut. I, you know, I, the royal family, this and that, they're all discussing. But I love Princess Diana. Mm. I remember when she died, it was the saddest thing ever. And then now you look back at some of the facts surrounding her death. The fact that it oh, took her nearly an hour to get there after the crash. So what do you think happened with uh, Princess Diana? Um, I don't know. I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't know. But there, as you say, there are, there are so many... Um, conflicting stories and, and there's some very strange timelines after the event and then there's the white fiat that was never found yep. and there's rumors about her being pregnant and all sorts of different things the one so um, it, yeah, it's, uh, it's I think it's one of those things the truth will never come out the one thing to remember is that she wasn't the only one that di the person that died that night That's yeah. true. Uh, Dodie. yeah Dodie died and so and I think for the father of um, um, Alpha um, what's it? Fired? Yes. 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 Um, for him, it must be awful that his son never gets mentioned. Yeah, I think no. And he was a you know yeah. a, a billionaire, I believe. So yeah, he probably really doesn't yeah. like Very his well son's family. legacy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last thing and last last question. I promise. Do you guys ever interact with Donald yeah. Trump? Because I know you know you guys have been famous forever. Well, you ever had an interaction? No, with we know we know we know Jason Miller. Yeah, and, um, we know Jason. Bit, yeah, we work Jason. Who works yeah. with? Uh, I think he's worked with Trump now. Yeah. Uh, but no, we haven't. No. 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 Well, I'd, you, I'd like to meet him actually. I'd like to meet him. I'd be interested to meet him. Yeah. 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 yeah, but well, he needs to remember that I'm the one the light shines on. Yeah, of course he will, yeah. Come on, we know that. We're not going to give it all to Fred. We're giving it to Richard. That's what the light shines. All right, guys, tell us where we can find you. Tell us what you have coming out uh, that you can plug. Please plug away. We've got, okay, got an album coming out on June 2nd. That's available on Amazon.com. It's available on iTunes, Deezer, uh, um, Apple Music, and uh, through lots of different distributions, Sony in America, I believe. Um, plastic head in the UK and right across the world on other formats. So it's, we've, re we've yeah we've reworked a lot of the early stuff, completely yeah. new. It's a brand new album with re-records and, and also including new tracks and new tracks that people uh, many people haven't heard. Yeah, we're really pleased with it. Actually, it sounds great. We've, yeah, played, we've played, played it, and you were playing it just now. It sounds cool. Yeah, it's called the singles album and uh, available June second. There yeah. you go. And everybody needs to go buy it. And I said this earlier. I mean, you know, you my, my people people might say, oh, you're a one-hit wonder. You guys are not. You guys have literally you know composed music with the biggest artists that have ever existed so you guys are incredibly talented thank you for gracing my uh, little program it's an honor and privilege to Thank talk to such great artists and i'm sorry for my producer doing that trying to embarrass him like that guys it won't <laughs> happen again next time it won't happen again okay. thank you very much thanks alex Our thank pleasure. you thanks alex have a good <laughs>